Okay, there's this really bad dude named Hacker. The Hacker to you. Whatever. He wants to take over the cyber world from Motherboard. <gasps> the three kids are sucked into cyberspace, and they use brain power to help save everybody. Okay, here's the plan. So they travel all over and run into all these weird creatures and have all these awesome adventures. It's totally up to them to save cyberspace. Can three cool kids and a wacky bird outsmart the hacker? Never! There's only one way to find out. Tune in to Cyber Chase. Cyber Chase, we're moving. We're beating hacker at his game. Don't tell me that he's trying to hack the motherboard. We'll get him every time. Cosmic world, freaky places that we've seen. We got the power of one, two, three, four. Running in the Cyber Chase. further, Matt. Yeah, I'm getting tired. Me too. And I'm not even walking. Come on, guys. We're almost there. The peak of Mount Stellandia is the best spot in all of cyberspace for us to watch Casey's Comet. What's so special about a comet? Other than it's like a giant frozen snowball that zips around in space. Actually, that does sound pretty cool. Well, to begin with, the comet is going to fly right through the middle of a huge constellation called the Dodecagon. Dodeca what? The Dodecagon. Check it out. If you draw lines between the stars that make up the constellation, it makes a 12-sided shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve sides. And here's the best part. Casey's Comet is so rare, you won't be able to see it for another 50 cyber years. And we're gonna see it tonight. Wow. Hey, how'd you get so into stars and comets anyway? My pop-pop took me stargazing all the time when I was little. Now, that constellation right there, that is Orion's belt. And that one is the Little Dipper. And, oh, look over there. That's the Big Dipper. Whoa, it looks like a great big spoon. Well, that's a constellation, a group of stars that form a pattern that look just like something you know. I could lie here and look at them all night, Pop-Pop. They're like good friends. <laughs> oh, good friends indeed, Maddie. When I was in the Navy, they taught us how to use the stars to navigate. With a night sky full of stars, you're never lost or alone. Just think how awesome Casey's Comet is gonna be. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Let's get moving, Earthlies. It'll be dark soon. Uh, Buzz, delete. Put it here. You got it, boss. Okie dokie, boss. No, <laughs> 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 oh, over here is better. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> Actually, the breeze feels nicer over here. <laughs> This is perfect. Uh, coming, boss. Uh, <laughs> ah, yes. This is the perfect spot. Bring on the night. <laughs> the Dodecagon. I see it. All 12 sides. Ooh, I'm getting more excited. By the minute, how soon will the comet come through? In exactly one hour, 53 minutes, and 27 seconds. You can't miss it. Well, I don't think I've ever seen so many stars before. Yeah, and so bright. That's because the sky is pretty dark tonight. It could be a one on the Bortle scale. Uh, what's the Bortle scale? The Bortle scale is a way to measure how dark the night sky is. 
the darkest possible sky is number one. Wow, that's really, really dark. Yeah, that's when you can see all the constellations and even a few planets. So where does the night sky land on your portal scale? Let's see. It's not a one or a two. It looks like a three to me. You're right, Didge. It's not a perfectly dark sky, but it's dark enough for us to see Casey's Comet, that's for sure. Anyone want to share a snack while we wake? Uh -huh. <laughs> mm. Yum. Yikes! What just happened? It looks like a giant ice cream cone in the sky. We can hardly see the stars. Is that Casey's Comet? No, it's light pollution. It's when unnatural light floods the sky and we can barely see the planets or the stars. Or Casey's Comet. Yep, I think we got light pollution. What do we do now? Find the source of that light and shut it off. How long do we have to find it? One hour, 49 minutes, and 51 seconds. Make that 50 seconds and counting. Come on. If we don't find that light, we won't be able to see Casey's Comet for another 50 years. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Which way do we go? The light is coming from the town. I can see it. But where in the town? I can't tell, but we're gonna find out. Come on. Matt, wait. Yeah? How do you know that's the path that leads to town? Well, it could be. We need a plan. Checking the map now. Huh? A red light? So the light doesn't bother the animals that travel at night, like yellow or white lights can. Oh, cool. Hmm. The map says that the town of Stellandia is down the southern path from Mount Stellandia. According to the compass, this path is west, and that path leads south. So that's the one we want. Good thing you checked. Let's go. What's that sound? And why is it getting louder? And closer! Ah! 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 Whoop, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Did not see you there. Who, who are you? Oh, yeah, the name's Bernice. Bernice Beetle. Such a pleasure to meet you. You were the one rolling this humongous ball? Ooh, do not let my size fool you. We beetles are built to carry many times our body weight, and I'm as strong as they come. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! So, uh, where am I? You're about halfway up the path to the top of Mount Stellandia. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Are you lost? Looks like it. Now this is my first night trip. Guess I took a wrong turn somewhere. Where are you trying to get to? Home, to see Casey's Comet with my family. We're here to see Casey's Comet too. I was told to use the dodecagon to navigate my way home. And I was doing just fine till that big old light came on and I couldn't see the dodecagon. Huh, my pop-up was right. With a night full of stars, you're never lost or alone. But without them, I'm lost. We have to help Bernice get home to her family. But we've got to shut down that light before the comet gets here. OK, but we can't just leave Bernice here, lost and alone. Yeah, I don't mean to be a pest, but I could really use the help. Let's split up. Matt and I will look for the light, and you and Didge can help Bernice get home. Good idea, Jax. We'll meet back at the top of Mount Stellandia in... one hour, 17 minutes, and 46 seconds. There's still time. Good. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks 
for my perfect rooftop seat and the ultra giga mega kilowatt bulb in my giant searchlight, I'm going to have the very best view of Casey's Comet in all of cyberspace. <laughs> what? What's so funny about that? <laughs> Less laughing, more pen. Sorry, boys. So, there I am. I'm rolling this ball of food to my colony when that huge bright light went on and boom! I'm all confused. Okay, let's see what we can do. You started here at this grassy hill, heading to the woodlands where you live. But because the light washed out the stars, you never reached your home and somehow ended up here on Mount Delandia, where we are now. Any stops along the way? Not till I ran into you. Okay, I think we got this. Um, over to you, Inez. So in order to get you back home, all we have to do is retrace your steps back to the point where you turned off the path. Then point you toward the woodlands and you're all but home. Woo! That sounds like a plan to me. Let's go! I still don't get how she does that. Hey, keep up! The light! Let's shut it down. Didge, you sure you're okay back there? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, I can take it if it's too heavy. How much further? The good news is, I don't know. That's the good news? The bad news is, we've sort of hit a dead end. Bernice, is there anything you remember always seeing on your trip home? Like a landmark, you know, something you could recognize? Landmark, landmark, landmark. Oh, yes! I always passed this orange rock on my trip, but, you know, I couldn't see it in the dark. How are we supposed to find an orange rock in the dark? Ribbit. Ribbit. I couldn't help but overhear your dilemma. Who are you? The name's Blender, and I think I might be of some assistance in your time of need. How? Yeah, how? Well, Ribbit, I can help you find that orange rock. Oh, really? How can you possibly see an orange rock in the dark of night? Hmm? Because I can see colors in the dark. You can? Indeed, all frogs can. This ball upon which I sit is made up of mushrooms, leaves, and decayed fruit. You can see all that? Am I not correct? Blunder, you nailed it! Butter there, pal! Ugh. Wow! You are one strong beetle! All right, Blunder, you're in. Please lead the way. It would be my pleasure. Next stop, the Orange Rock. Looks like we're not the only ones that want to see Casey's Comet. You were right. The light is a giant ice cream cone. How are we supposed to see the comet with your sign lighting up the sky like this? Well, I, I just turned it on now, Martha. It's light pollution. Haven't you ever heard of light pollution? I'm not polluting the sky. Just want folks to know I'm open for business. Excuse me. We're here to see the comet. But the light from your sign is going to make that difficult. That's what I've been saying. Thank you. Maybe you could just turn off your sign till after the comet comes? I could do that. But what about afterwards? The light from your sign is so bright, it shines into everyone's windows. I'm pretty sure they make light bulbs that aren't so bright. Maybe you could change the bulbs? I could do that, too. I'll go turn off my sign. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. He's really a very nice man. We did it, Nat. Cool. Now everyone can enjoy seeing Casey's comet. Uh-oh. Not so fast. Look. Another light? What's down there? Oh, not much. 
much. Just some old warehouses. Let's go, Jax. Hurry! Here we are, Ribbit! The Orange Rock! Oh, I see it on the map! That means we're officially back on the straight line towards Bernice's colony in the woodlands. Ah, thank you kindly, Blunder. Wouldn't have made it back here without you. My pleasure, Bernice. Hope we cross paths again soon. <coughs> what was that? <coughs> Yikes! <coughs> No problem, just a pair of cute little puffins. Puffins? Aren't they seabirds? What are they doing here? Very good question. You guys lost? Maybe the bright light confused them too. Made them fly inland instead of toward the water. Just like the light threw me off course. We can't just leave him here. The ocean's not too far from where I live. You want to come with us? <laughs> Hey, Jax. Hey, Ditch. Did you find the light? Yep. We tracked the light to this old warehouse. It's up on the roof. Just be careful. We've almost got Bernice home. And hurry. Casey's Comet comes in 38 minutes. We're on it. Bye. I'm going up. I'm right behind you. You okay? Hey, Puffins, this is your stop. There should be an archway in the rocks right about there. According to the map, if you go through this archway, it's a straight flight to the sea. Ah, oh, we'll miss you, Puffins. <coughs> Bye, friends. See ya. <coughs> now, to get you home, Bernice. There it is! The woodlands! Home sweet home! But the light's still shining. Ah, oh, we'll never be able to see Casey's comet. Don't worry about that, Bernice. Matt and Jackie won't let us down. Uh, boys, where should the searchlight be pointed? I told you already, Casey's comet will fly in and across the sky, and when it does, I'll have the best view of this glorious comet. Okay, so I'm thinking one of us could shimmy across the roof and unplug the wires connecting the searchlight to Buzz and Delete's bike. And Jackie! Oh, or we could put a wedge in the wheel of Buzz and Delete's bike, which would keep them from being able to... Jax, didn't you hear what Hacker said? He's not trying to mess up everyone's chance of seeing Casey's comet. He wants to see it too. But he's ruining the comet for everyone. So we have to stop him. What we need is a plan. I have a plan. Hey, Hacker. What are you Earth kids doing here? Yeah, what are we doing? Trust me, Jax. We couldn't help but hear that you're hoping to see Casey's comet tonight. It's a once-in-a-lifetime event. Of course, I want to see it. We want to see the comet, too. But your giant searchlight is making it impossible. You need some help, boss? Keep pedaling. Will you please turn off your light? That's your plan? Asking him nicely? He's Hacker. That's the hacker to you. And you're just jealous that my light will give me the very best view of Casey's Comet. Not true. Not only is your light going to keep everyone else from seeing Casey's Comet, but you won't be able to see it either. And that's because... Look up. Do you see any stars in the sky at all? <laughs> nope. Not a single star. Quiet! If your light makes it too bright to see stars, there's no way you'll see the comet with it on. So, will you turn it off, please? Bus, delete! Stop handling! 
Listen, you sure your friends are gonna be able to turn the big light out in time? Wait, it's going out! They did it! Of course they did. They're the Cyber Squad. Half of it anyway, with the other half. <gasps> Look! We can see the Dodecagon! Well, that's my cue. I cannot wait to see that comet with my family. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for your help. Bernice out! Woo! Bye, Bernice! <laughs> Bye, Bernice. You going to be okay? All good. I'm on a roll. Woo! <laughs> 29 minutes and 31 seconds till we see Casey's Comet. <laughs> Back to the peak. Only four minutes and ten seconds left. Oh, I hope they make it. Hi, guys. No problem. Of course we'll make it. Eh, Jackie, congrats on getting that light off. Yeah, I can't imagine how hard it was to get Hacker to turn it off. It wasn't as hard as you'd think. Thank Matt. It was his plan. What? Matt had a plan. What's wrong with having a plan? <laughs> Good job getting Bernice home. The puffins. Did you say puffins? Uh, it's a long story. Hmm. Does the sky look different to anyone else? Yeah, it's like there are even more stars than before. Huh. Let me check the Bortle scale to see if anything's changed. I don't believe it. <gasps> what is it? Remember how the sky was a three on the Bortle scale before? Yeah. yeah. Now, with most of the lights out, it's a two. Even better for stargazing. And comet gazing! <laughs> because Casey's Comet will be here in five, four, three, three two, two, one! was the most magnificent thing I've ever seen in my life. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Thanks, Pop Up. Stay right where you are. It's Cyber Chase for real. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have this wish I wish tonight. It's so funny. Last night, I made a wish on a star that I could see you, and then you called and asked me to meet you here. Amazing, even if it is just coincidence. Yeah, I know, but I still like to make wishes. Don't you ever wish upon stars? I hardly ever see stars in the city. Really? That's strange. I see millions and millions every night. I can see the moon, but not many stars. I wonder why. There's a planetarium here. I bet someone can help us with the answer. A planetarium? A place where people learn about planets and stars. May we ask you a question? Yeah, of course. We're trying to figure out why Alex can see millions of stars, and I can't. Well, that is a great question. And I study the stars, but I think you may already have many of the answers. So, where do you live? I live in the country. Okay, and where do you live? I live in the city. Okay, and how many street lights would you say are on your block? We don't have any. And how many street lights are on your block? Three on each side of the street. Three plus three equals six. And are there any other sources of light in the city? Neon signs, headlights, and taillights. And billboards, and lights from apartment windows. There's so much more light in the city than the country. Yeah. So this picture here is of the Earth at night. And this is what it looks like on the East Coast, where there are lots of cities. Ah. Oh. And this is the view out west, where there just aren't as many cities. Oh. So the lights in these cities create a glow as they bounce up into the sky. And we call that glow light pollution. And it's light pollution that keeps you from seeing those stars at night. Wow, I get it. So 
That's why I can't see that many stars. They're there, but blocked by light pollution. Exactly. There are people who are working on reducing the, the number of lights in cities. But for now, if you really want to see the stars, you'll need to find some place without very much light pollution. Or you can come to a planetarium. Follow me. So here in the planetarium, we can see what the sky looks like with light pollution from the city, but also what it would look like without light pollution. Wow. We can also travel to distant planets. <gasps> That's so cool. That was awesome. It really gave me a clearer understanding of the night sky. Let's ask our moms if we could have a sleepover at my house. Then I'll share all my stars with you. <laughs>